What's going on, Tubes? I want to do a quick walkthrough and discussion of the modifications and improvements I've done to one of my favorite chainsaws, which is actually this Husqvarna 445 X Torque. One of the reasons why I really like this saw is just it's really light, compact. It's got some really nice features on it. And uh, it's really good for like limbing and just, you know, firewood stuff around the house. I got some uh, bigger saws that I go to if I, if, the, if I feel the need. But for the most part, this thing gets it done. And I'll walk through some of the things I've done to it. So one of the uh, best improvements was certainly this Shimura 16-inch lightweight bar with the Carlton chain. Really uh, sheds a little weight off the front of the saw. Uh, makes it really nice to wheel around. Uh, the chain cuts real good. <clears throat> uh, the other thing, gave it a little bit more power, make it sound a little better, is I added this extra port off the muffler. Uh, that really uh, cleaned up, gave it a much better mid to high range, makes it real snappy. <clears throat> While I did that, I did pull the cylinder off and I did a little bit of port work on the intake and exhaust port. So I wouldn't call it anything extreme. I didn't really mess with the timing much. just more just opened it up a little bit. And I feel that really helped the saw. Um, the other thing that I did, I added, this has got the newer style gas cap right here, which is a whiz to take off on and off. Kind of like how the steels, steels work. That's uh, something you can buy from a newer... Husky saw. Um, and other than that, it's uh, pretty pretty much stock from there. Just uh, like I said, it's a really, really light, easy to run saw. Um, I like that they get the fuel uh, fuel gauge right there. You can tell where the fuel's at, which this thing is just about empty. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a quick test fire here. You can uh, hear how it sounds. What I like about this too is this uh automatic return uh kill switch it's just one of those things you know if you need to kill the saw you just hold it hold it down and it's returns to uh its normal position also a little thing too if you're um if if you're restarting the saw and you don't want to put the choke on what you can do is you can put the choke oh hold on, I, gotta, I gotta squeeze the trigger here So you squeeze the trigger, squeeze the trigger, hold this up, bring this up, and then bring it down, and that will open the throttle for you. So you can just. Just a little, little tip there. But yeah, anyways, like I said, this is a great saw, nice light limbing firewood saw. If uh, you see one kicking around, I'd highly recommend you uh, pick one up. Do similar modifications to what I've done. That's a wrap on this one. Enjoy, folks.